Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. Now today's vehicle is an absolutely beautiful 2012 Ford Mustang GT California Special. And believe it or not, but the owner has been using it as a farm car. All right guys, no, your ears aren't lying to you. This car has recently been used on the farm as the owner sold his second vehicle, which is a truck. So it's been driving around dusty gravel roads a ton and has accumulated quite the pile of bug guts up on the front end. But moving inside, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the windows were down when it was on those gravel roads because every inch of the interior is covered in dust. From the door jams to the seats and center console, there's dust everywhere. And it gets even worse in the trunk as the weather stripping did a terrible job keeping the dust out. So I'll quite literally be cleaning every inch of the interior, but not only that, I'll also be doing a deep clean and detail on this big, super dusty 5 liter V8 engine. And then we'll also be ceramic coating this black beauty, which means doing paint correction to remove all the scratches and swirls. But just before we dive into this huge detail, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you've got the bell on so you never miss out on a future video. All right guys, well I am pretty pumped to get started on this Mustang and get it looking like an absolute beast again. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right guys, so getting started on the pre-wash rinse here and obviously the dust on the exterior is pretty easy to take care of. But as you saw in the opening, this paint is pretty heavily swirled. So there's going to be a ton of time spent on the correction and coating portion of the detail. But make sure you stick around until the end of the video, not only to see how incredible the Mustang looks when I'm done, but also to catch the owner's reaction to seeing the car completely transformed. Now, of course, because it seems like I can't get away from these things, the Mustang has carpeted wheel well liners that are holding onto a ton of gravel dust. So once I've made sure to be nice and thorough to get it all out, I can turn to the wheels and I'll also make sure to spray down in the barrel of the wheel from different angles again to get all that stuck on dirt off. Moving to the underside now and knowing how much the car has been on gravel roads, I know the underside will be covered in dust too. So using my undercarriage sprayer here can give me that peace of mind that none of it is going to be missed.
All right, with the Mustang covered in some nice thick foam, I'll go around the entire vehicle with my Boar's Hair Detail Brush and use it to get into all the tighter areas and crevices my wash mitt would miss, like behind the gas door and up on the front end around the grill and the fog lights where all the dead bugs were. Okay, it's time now to tackle this dirty engine bay and the first step here after disconnecting the battery is to get the entire engine bay covered in some degreaser and then I'll let that sit for a minute or two to give it a chance to break down the dirt and gunk and once it has I'll go over all the flat surfaces with my wheel brush and basically use this anywhere it will fit then I'll use my smaller Speedmaster brush to get down into all the tighter areas and I'll also use a detail brush to get anywhere that I haven't gotten with the other two brushes. Now with everything clean, I'll go ahead and simply rinse down the entire engine bay. And it's important to note that you don't want to let your degreaser dry as it can permanently stain surfaces. So you definitely have to work quick. And if anyone is wondering why I do this after I've washed the vehicle, it's because if I did it first, a little bit of water would end up making its way underneath the hood when I pressure wash. So this way the engine bay stays perfect when I'm done and it just takes a couple seconds to dry any water drips off the paint after. Then with everything rinsed, I'll just quickly use my leaf blower to get rid of the majority of the water and then simply finish drying things with a microfiber towel. Now with everything dry, I'm using some 303 Aerospace Protectant this time for all the black plastics and hoses to dress them and really make this engine bay pop.
Moving to the couple of dirty floor mats and getting a liberal amount of my carpet solution sprayed on, I'll agitate with the drill brush to loosen everything up and then the pressure washer can just make really quick work of them. And to answer a question that I know some of you have, yes, I do extract the remaining water out of these later on when I've got the Bissell out. All right, so with the customer's personal items and garbage removed from the vehicle, I can get started on vacuuming. And if you guys are wanting to see what went into the paint correction and ceramic coating of this Mustang, I decided to make that into its own video for the second channel as there was just simply too much information to cover. So make sure you check that out when it's up in just a few days. Now as I work my way around the car with my boar's hair and ultra soft detail brushes, I wanted to let you guys know in case you missed the community post or the one on Instagram a few days ago, I've announced something that I've been working on for the past eight months and that is the launch of my new company, Detail Geek Auto Care, where I've created my own line of premium detailing products and I'm super excited to finally be able to share this with you guys. And if you want to find out a little bit more about the company, and the product line, be sure to check it out on Instagram at Detail Geek Auto Care, as there's some info on the first couple products as we move closer to the launch date in just a couple weeks from now.
Now in the trunk here, after I got the ridiculous amount of dust sucked out of the carpet, I'll turn my attention to the subwoofers and seeing how dusty they are, it's going to be far easier to clean if it's outside of the car. So I'll quickly get it unscrewed, disconnected and removed. starting on the carpets here and while they aren't super dirty or stained the vacuum could never remove all the dust out of them and there were a few spots that produced some pretty nasty colors so using the Bissell I can get them extracted and looking new again and if any of you out there are in the market for an extractor because maybe you've got a vehicle with dirty carpets or seats or maybe you've got a couch inside the home that needs cleaning I would highly recommend the Bissell Spot Clean Professional as it's very reasonably priced and does an incredible job so if you're interested, the link is in the description for you. Now, like I had mentioned earlier, for the floor mats that I pressure wash, I always just put them aside until later on when I've got the Bissell out and then extract the remaining water out to get them perfectly clean. Here's the half bucket full of dirty water pulled out of the Mustang. Gross. All right, now turning my attention to the dirty and dusty interior trim, I'll go around with some APC diluted 10 to 1, and after spraying it into a slightly damp microfiber towel, I'll simply wipe everything down using a detail brush for the crevices around the door handle and the lock, and then I'll follow up with a dry towel to remove any remaining APC residue.
Now for this super dusty subwoofer enclosure here, I'm opting to use the steamer as there's a ton of small crevices. So the steam is able to easily blast the dirt and dust out from them. And then I'll just wipe it clean with a microfiber towel. Okay, moving back inside and starting on the dusty leather seats now, and because there's just so much dust, I'm opting to quickly wipe down all the seats with a damp microfiber towel before I use cleaner on them. Okay, now spraying on some of my Meguiar's D181 leather cleaner, I'll then use a soft horsehair brush to agitate and I'll make sure to really get into the seams and then I'll simply wipe them clean with a microfiber towel and once that's done, I'll follow up with some leather conditioner to keep them feeling soft and supple. All right, with the entire interior dressed and UV protected now, I'll move to the glass. And you've probably heard me say it in previous videos, but the secret to streak-free glass is a waffle weave towel. Plus, they won't leave any lint behind like regular microfiber towels will. And if you've ever had troubles with getting the inside of your windshield streak-free, well, I really don't do anything special here besides flip my towel for the final wipe and never have any streaks.
pretty well flawed. That is, now. I was gonna say that is insane how much of a difference that makes. Yeah. A little less dust in there now, so. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say when I originally got the car, it wasn't even that clean to begin with. So it's yeah. a nice change. Yeah, for sure. That looks unreal. Yeah. Wow, does that stuff ever do a nice job? You did an awesome job on it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a little sad you have to take it away. It was kind of, it was, it was a fun <laughs> to work on. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the usual type of vehicle I see. So, That's all right. Nice. Well, I'll uh, do those and awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely enjoy it. All right, guys. And 14 hours later, and the Mustang is looking insanely good. I kind of wish I could keep it for myself. It's looking so good. Now, if you want to see what went into the paint correction and the ceramic coating side of things, make sure you check out the second channel video when it's up. And if you enjoyed this one. Hit the thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one.